Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 4 to the power of x times 16 to the power of x, this is equal to 40. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we have 4 to the power of x multiplied by 16 to the power of x, this is equal to 40. We can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 16 which is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x this is equal to 40. Now 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of m multiplied by n. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x multiplying by 2 to the power of 4x, this is equal to 40. Now, 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 4x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, multiplying by a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 2x plus 4x, this is equal to 40. So this is 2 to the power of 2x plus 4x, this is equal to 6x, then this is equal to 40. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so we have log 2 to the power of 6x, this is equal to log 40. Now, log 2 to the power of 6x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n, which we can express as n log log a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then log 2 to the power of 6x becomes 6x log 2. This is equal to log 40. So let's divide both signs by log 2. Also here we have log 2. Now let's simplify log 2 and log 2 here so that we have 6x, this is equal to log 40, we can express 40 as 8 multiplied by 5, so we have 8 multiplied by 5, divided by log 2. So log 8 times 5, this is in the form of log a, multiplied by b, which we can express as log a plus log b. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 6x, this is equal to log 8 divided by log 2 plus log 5 divided by log 2. Now the next step is that we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So this implies that we have 6x, this is equal to log 2 to the power of 3 divided by log 2 plus log 5 log 5 divided by log 2 now log 2 to the power of 3 applying the power root property then this becomes 3 log 2 divided by log 2 then plus log 5 divided by log 2 so let's simplify rock 2 and rock 2 here, so that we have 6x, this is equal to 3, plus rock 5, divided by rock 2. Now we have that rock 5 over rock 2, this is in the form of rock A, divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Now applying this logarithm property, then this implies that we have 6x, this is equal to 3, plus rock 5, to base 2. Now we have 6x is equal to 3, plus rock 5 to base 2. So let's divide both signs by 6, so that now we have that x is equal to 3 over 6, plus 1 over 6. This is rock 5 to base 2. Now, let's simplify here. 
3 over 6, this is the same thing as half. 10 plus 1 over 6, this is rock 5, to base 2. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. Now if you recall, if you recall, we had that 4 to the power of x multiplied by 16 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. We express 4 to the power of x as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 16 which is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of m raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So we have 2 to the power of 2x multiplied by 2 to the power of 4x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, 2 to the power of 2x multiplied by 2 to the power of 4x. This is in the form of a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 2x plus 4x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So we have 2 to the power of 6x this is supposed to give us a value of 40. So let's substitute the value of x here. Now let's substitute the value of x here so that we have 2 to the power of 6. Into the parentheses, we have x as a half plus 1 over 6. This is rock 5 to base 2. Then this should give us a value of 40. Let's open the parentheses here so that we have 2 to the power of 6 times a half. So we have 6 divided by 2. This is 3. So this is 2 to the power of 3 plus 6 and 6 here simplifies. So we have row 5 to, to, the, to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. 2 to the power of 3 plus row 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, 2 to the power of 3, this is the same thing as 8. So we have 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 40. 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of b. So 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. This is equal to 5. So let's substitute 5 so that we have 8 multiplied by 5. This should give us a value of 40. So we have that 8 times 5. This is 40, which is equal to 40. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to a half plus 1 over 6, rock 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.